Hello there YouTube land and welcome back to the Small Workshop Adventures. Here we are on another day, another job. Uh, before we get started, a bit of housekeeping. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Really appreciate it and click the like button. It's really, really appreciated. So, another customer, another job, another interest. This one's an interesting one. Um, I'm going to be doing, round here, creating a really nice sort of bench seat come storage around a bay window. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. Uh, creating a really nice piece there of furniture. And I've also got to make, which is over there, I've got to uh, fit out a cupboard for storage, for amazing storage. This is in a flat. I'm actually in Swanage, right down here in sunny Dorset. It's not that sunny today, is it? <laughs> So right down here in the Purbeck, so uh, a lovely place, part of the world. I'm going to be fitting out a cupboard for amazing storage in there. So that will be, it may actually be that there's two parts to this video. Um, probably yes. So we've got the bench seat and then I'm going to be doing uh, on another video, which is all part of the same job, uh, the fitting out the cupboard storage. So you can see the space that we're on there. Um, that's where we're going to make that, just in that nice thing that we're going around that bay window. Uh, that's the space that we're going to be working in. First thing I'm going to do is just start to mark out the height. So this will be, is the same thickness as the top. So I need to mark out sitting underneath the window ledge, going around. So I'm just going to start marking out where I'm going to put my frame and my battening to secure and to make the, uh, the front and the carcass. So that's what we're going to be doing. So we've created the just the back wall so we can see where it's going we've put that fixed that onto the back wall or the bay not the back wall well it is the back of the unit um that the window as you can see is running out quite dramatically and as this is going to be also a bench seat well you can't have it at that angle because you'd be sitting on a slope so it's obvious that it's running out as you can see if i uh Look at that. So I will have, I've just had to ignore that because this needs to be sitting flat. So it's sort of going to look like it isn't square, but I've taken the executive decision. I'm sure you would agree that being a seat, you don't want to be sitting on a slope, do you? That's really not going to be comfortable. So we have made that nice and square and There you go, square. So that's what we've done.
there's a problem, you have to overcome it. Um, these walls are absolutely shocking for getting fixings. So I can get fixings, but what I've decided to do is put some uh, sticks like shit on the back as well. So I'm going to take all that off and let that set and then that'll give it some extra bonding to the wall. So, uh, and let it just go off and do its thing. So that's how I'm going to attempt to make that a much stronger fixing. There we go, that's the uh, top and front. Now I can effectively box it. Uh, I continue the framing. Um, there we go. That was a bit of thinking, getting these angles, uh, working it out, uh, having to set things up, getting jigs, slowly getting in. But we got there so that it's all equal all the way around. So it's finding the optimum place where you actually come in so that, uh, there you go where you come down there so that it stays exactly the same distance all the way around so yeah happy got there eventually just working out once that one was done that one was fairly easy because i'd already got the template so as long as the walls were well the walls are the walls but yeah it's good so happy so now we can continue That's the frame. I've put lots of supports at the front, made it nice and strong because it's also going to be a bench. So there's going to be a years of sitting on it. So it needs to be able to um, take a lot of weight, bang it up and down. So uh, we're going to put the front panels on now, but the structure then it will support uh, any number of seating. And you can see the spaces where there's going to be some lift up lids as well. So nice. Whenever you're uh, cutting in uh, a side piece like this, or any piece, it's good to cut it long because particularly if you've got scry brown things, as you can see, then it gives you plenty of uh, material to work yourself in. Um, so it always helps. If you cut it exactly there to there and then try and scribe it in, you're gonna leave yourself potentially with problems. So you've got no room to maneuver. So just cut it long and then scribe it in. We have the front. Some, still some obviously finishing, but it's essentially fixed on. And uh, we'll make that good a little bit later. You can see where I was scribing in. 
and down there as well. On to the next bit. So a very tricky bit to cut in, getting all the angles and scribing around that wall. Um, done it though, I cut basically a jig again. I always cut a jig um, to get that angle. So you've got that going around and then coming back there to get that so that it'll fit where the door can fit nicely. As you see, it's just falling in at the minute. So, but I cut that and slowly worked it out and that's looking pretty good. I've just put a nice little mould on there as well, just to finish that. So we're going to start fixing that and slowly work our way around, cutting all the angles again, the top to fit, making sure the doors are square. So there we go. fun shape <laughs> oh, with all sorts of angles I am really using my brain <laughs> there she's some uh, this is some interesting uh, yeah carpentry all sorts of angles anyway it's uh... there we go it's getting in that's where the door will be getting there bloody hell it's uh, I'm stressing my brain <laughs> need some more pa brain power <laughs> for a friday afternoon right let's get on that has been a brain ache <laughs> cutting all the angles top isn't fitted yet haven't shot in the doors or anything yet they're just sort of sitting there they're not hinged their hinges are on but they're not fixed but i've got everything essentially all those awkward angles are cut and it's looking pretty good once it's fixed and finished it'll look a nice piece all got doors in to get storage in underneath that has certainly been a challenge anyway i'm going to pack up it is a friday afternoon and uh, i am knackered so we will pack up and come back to this job on monday and the bay window seating come storage is uh, finished. It's now up to the customer to uh, decorate it. Uh, but it's essentially built. So there we have it. As you can see, the lift up lids are just going inside. And a lift up lid. So you can do lots of storage in in there not bad another build done this time in sunny swanage right down here in uh, dorset in the per in the isle of purbeck in the purbex it's a lovely place gorgeous i come here a lot anyway let's stop waxing lyrical about how beautiful this is down here um 
that's this job done. So really appreciate it. There's going to be lot. There's lots of other stuff, similar, different. There's lots of different jobs on here. Um, so go and check them out. So thanks for watching from me, Mark, at the Small Workshop Adventures. Take care, everybody. Bye.